It's time, let's put an end to this topic of end of programming language. It can be any language. In fact, on this channel, I have made few videos about, is it the end of this language? It started with Java, then C, then Python. Uh, Python because of Mojo, C because of Rust. And of course, we don't have a solution for Java yet. But the thing is, if you really talk about all these languages, in fact, I try to put up new languages perspective in front of those people who are working in the existing languages. But then these people were not happy. In fact, if you are working on a language for a long time, somewhere you get used to it, somewhere you start loving the language, or somewhere you got comfortable with that language and you don't want to move now. Now, basically on YouTube, I follow some of the channels and one of the channels which I love is Honeypot. Now in that channel, basically they talk about documentaries of different technologies. Now on that channel, there's a recent video of Douglas Brockford. Now he talks about the JavaScript language. Now, if you're thinking about who is this person, he is a very famous person in the world of JavaScript. He was one of the developer of the language and also he invented the JSON format. That's right, the JSON format which we all use. Now, he was promoting JavaScript a lot in different era. Example, uh, starting from the language started and then in between he published a lot of books promoting the JavaScript language. But recently, of course, you will find the link in the description. He mentioned that it's time for us to stop using JavaScript. Now, this is not the first time someone is asking you to stop using a particular language. It can be Java, C, C++, or, or JavaScript, or any other language. But then, of course, we have people who will also support the languages by saying, we have a big ecosystem, it's difficult to replace them. See, it's not about replacing something. It's not, I'm not saying that these languages, which are new languages, will take over the old languages. Of course, this language will be there for a long time. It can be C, C++, Java. It will be there for a long time. The point is, why are we stuck with the old languages? See, with every language which was created way back, they had some drawbacks. It was not built for today's world. Now, if we talk about all the applications which we're using, in fact, the entire world, I feel, is running with the help of softwares. And with AI now, in future, everything will be run by AI. Of course, there will be human inter intervention in between, but primarily, it will be software-based. And when we say the entire world is going to work with that, don't you think we have to make a stable OS? We have to make stable softwares, which will for sure work and it will have advanced features. And that's why if you see new languages, they have a new approach to it. Example, in, in older languages, there was a missing part called security. There's a missing part of threads. There's a missing part of many other feature. Now, all these modern languages, they have this thing in build. That means if you develop a software in a modern language, which came in the last 10 years, they have some amazing feature which will make your work easy. The problem is, even if you learn a new language in the market, we are still based on the older languages. Now the question arises, why it's a case? The reason one is, example, let's say if you are a company and then you got a new project. Now in this case, which technology you will choose? Of course, it depends upon the stakeholders, it depends upon the architect, how they want to design the application, which language they want to use, which framework they want to use, what are the layers they want to create. Now when defining all these things, they get one challenge. Let's say if they choose a new language, do we have developers in the market to work on that? Of course, we don't have any experienced developer who can work on the new languages, right? In fact, that some languages which came last few years or five years, of course, you cannot ask for developers who has experience of 10 years in that language. The language is new. So they decide, hey, you know, let's go, let's go for stable one, which is where we'll find good developers in the market. So they go for the older one. Given a choice, if AI makes the software in future, they will prefer a modern language. And we humans are stuck with the older languages. So I think we have to break this ecosystem, right? And also you can also blame the influencers, they promote the older languages. In fact, I'm a big fan of Java, so I always promote that. The good thing about Java is it is evolving very fast now and it is competing with the modern languages. But then if you talk about the other languages, they're not evolving the way they should. In fact, JavaScript, okay, I don't want a hate comments in, in, the, in the comment section, but it's a terrible language, okay? <laughs> Let's, let me say that. Yes, it is getting used everywhere, but given a choice, of course, the JavaScript developers might prefer a better language which will be less smelly, right? Again, I don't want hate comments, but that's the truth, right? In fact, you can hear from the uh, Douglas as well. He mentioned that in that video. Okay, I'm not a JavaScript expert, but at least I can hear from the leaders in the market and they're not happy. So at least we have to give chance to the other languages. I know they cannot compete with the older languages the way they work, uh, the way we have the ecosystem, the, way, the amount of libraries we have for the older languages, 
but I think it's time for us to move, learn the new languages. At least you're not working on them. Example, let's say you are a JavaScript or C or C++ developer. At least learn the new language. I'm not saying you have to move directly. Learn it, have in your profile. So let's say if when you join a company after a few years, when you become a manager or an architect, when you get this chance of deciding a language, you can go for the modern language. You can only do that if you have the knowledge. So at this point, I think it's time for us to learn the new languages, explore them at least, and give them a chance. It's time for us to use a good software, a good system. Now, does it mean we have to stop using the older languages? Don't do that because the market is still running on those languages. C, C++, JavaScript, Java, they are the market leaders. I mean, whatever application you're building, you will find these languages there. Uh, if we talk about system programming, C++ is there. If we talk about web, JavaScript is there. If we talk about enterprise application, Java is there. But I want you to also explore other languages.